What's up? My name is Alex. I'm a professional music producer. Today, I'm going to react and analyze to the new Devil May Cry song, Burn My Dread. No. <laughs> Buried the Light. Okay, that one. It's the first time I listened to this song, but I know it's being composed by Casey Edwards again, the guy who made Devil Trigger, which I analyzed in the past, and Victor Borba as a singer, who's a guy who makes vocal covers on YouTube. Super cool to see people like that coming up into making music for Devil May Cry 5. That's fucking amazing. But anyway, let's go. Holy shit. Oh my god, what the fuck? Wow. This is giving me some BFG Division vibes. The BFG Division, the riff goes something like this. The thing you notice they have in common is the background. Like, notice in BFG Division, there's a sound that does behind the guitars. You have the same thing going on in Very Delight. So you have heavy guitar chugs, uh, some very dirty, dirty bass, and then you have that synthesizer that does that, the pad in the background. That is very reminiscent of BRG Division. I'm not complaining, like that's a cool thing. That's a cool song, and it's great to see it inspire other pieces of music. Oh my God. Okay. Love this voice. Wow. Holy shit, those harmonies though. There's also a secondary vocal that does something like this. The thing I love, other than the fact that this kind of sounds like Egyptian, like if I had the time now, I would make an Egyptian arrangement of this. But apart from that fact is that this harmonization kind of make the melody change mode. From here, it's kind of minor, minor. But it ends like this. The melody in this way is kind of telling us this is a character that will have dark and light in him, I think, you know? Uh, it's kind of interesting uh, way of writing this melody. It's not evil, it's not angelic, it's kind of both, which probably might be a good uh, like analogy for Virgil. I haven't played DMC 3 and 4, and so I don't really know, but it sounds enigmatic. Holy shit, okay. Love that. That is what you would call the breeze bass. This sort of like... But it's like, you know, a bass biggest than any bass I ever heard. Plus a scream in the background. What the fuck? Oh my God, I love that. Wow. No, dude. Bro. Like, guys, this is so fucking good. This is so dark and spectral. Like, it sounds like, I don't know, some Castlevania type of shit. If we turn this into something like Victorian or casual, it will sound like something out of Castlevania. I I don't think it's a coincidence, and it's just Cassie Edwards hiding this context underneath the badassery of the guitars and the re bass and stuff, but wow, wow. This is why I love video game music. This is something you will not hear that much in pop music. You know, it's always straightforward, doesn't always contain so much mystery, but in this track, I just discovered some Doom influences and Castlevania influences. I've never heard a song like this before, so I'm already sold after like, I don't know, one minute. Oh my god! That's it! Oh my god! That's the trailer! Oh ho! Whoa! No! No! This! Oh my god, I just threw some periphery in there. Like that button. That key change over there? Oh my god, it reminds me of this track from Periphery. 
This end here. Uh, you know, it's like kind of like the periphery song, which I fucking love. That is my favorite passage in the Hailstone periphery album. And hearing it here with this vocal that kind of references the story of Virgil. Holy shit, that harmony there. That beautiful chord change. This guy is fucking amazing. Wow. Wow. Wait, no, wait, no. I'm not a vocalist, but that what he did here. Nah, like when you change no like da -da -da in your vocals, it's very hard to nail. Like if you do these fast passages like this, nailing the right notes for those, you know, small parts is so hard. But when you get them right, you're like, holy shit, oh my god. And again, like it's like changing the notes super quickly. That's another thing that I hear a lot in peripheries music. And this guy, wow, he's ascending to their levels. And Kezia Duro's arrangement again, it's fucking amazing. Oh my god. Wow. So the track here does a very good job again at playing between light and dark because if you take these same notes and you put them on piano and strings, you're gonna notice they sound kind of like angelic. When you play it on the normal arrangement, it's like it sounds freaking badass and angry and epic rather than angelic. That shows you the power of instrumentation. It's not only the notes you write, but also the instruments you use and how you use them that change completely the language. And uh, it's very rare to have metal, industrial, electronic music that plays like uplifting notes. And uh, I only heard this in uh, the music of a friend of mine called Neurowolf or Neurotech. He makes tracks like this where the notes are very uplifting and positive in major, but the arrangements are quite heavy. So you see, it sounds quite badass and epic, but it also sounds uplifting and angelic. Hearing it here, I'm like, I'm all for it. I'm all up for it. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? No. 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 What the? Oh my god. This again is a real space. In this case, Kezi is using it to like do some interesting slides between notes. Like Portamento is when you go from one note to another very slowly. So like for example. You know, and in this case, he's using that to create this like super badass riff. And you can do the same thing on guitar, you know. So I think he's playing the riff bass plus a guitar to get this fucking... <laughs> super amazing. I loved it. Wow. My God. What? What? Why? Do... Why do they keep on doing amazing stuff like that? The the way this guy is singing again that's portamento the eyes of him so cool so not only you have the re space doing portamentos but even freaking victor with his amazing voice is doing those my god This guy's voice is so fucking crazy. And it reminds me of like, the singer from uh, Periphery, but also the singer from Pendulum, Rob Swire. I'm hearing so many influences that I fucking love. It's like the best combination of all life. What? What the? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, they, they, they did not just do that. They did not just put that freaking violin solo and this is a fucking heavy metal industrial track with pendulum vocals that reminds me of my friend neurowolf and on top of all this badassery and mess of aggressive sounds they added a fucking violin really you fucking kid me no no i i don't i do not accept this i'm gone
Like how many freaking influence can you add in one single track and why does it all fit so well? It's like what Casey Edwards is doing right now is like saying, oh, I'm gonna use all colors and end up with a painting that doesn't look like a mess of black, but it actually makes sense. Like, how do you do this? How do you fucking do this? Okay. That's so cool. We have a slower paced, calmer part that sounds like a demonic voice. Like the demon speaking inside the Virgin. When you have this like very like low singing process this way, it sounds like a demon. What? What the fuck? I'm sorry for all the swearing, but really? How much talent can you add in one in one single song? Because this is probably too much. I'm kind of overwhelmed now. I, I, in this analysis videos, I like to like explain you what the fuck is going on. But in this one, I'm like the the, the level of talent that has been portrayed by this soundtrack oh, exceeds my understanding. So it's hard to figure out what the frick is going on. But this guy, how can he go from such a low tone to such a high voice? It's so crazy, and it also kind of like screams and growls with distortion, and then it does these beautiful angelic vocals and demonic voice. Like he does everything. Why is Victor Borba not singing on every video game soundtrack we ever heard? Because he freaking deserves it. Holy shit! And Casey Edwards is doing a fucking killer job on this arrangement. Wow. Wow. No. 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 You guys are not doing this. No. They added the. They added a freaking guitar solo on top of this, like as if everything we happened to hear in the last nine minutes was not the most epic shit ever. Like there was no need for this solo. We were already sold. There was, I don't know what the fuck to say. Like this transcends anything that I heard in terms of vocal tracks in video games, I think. I don't think I have memory of ever listening to a vocal track in a video game that is as amazing as this one. And it has everything. Like, it, we, we detected freaking pendulum vibes, periphery, Castlevania. We detected some angelic music with freaking instruments from hell. The vocals of this guy are unhinged. And at the end, we have a fucking guitar solo. What are we talking about? Even the lyrics are so good. Like, is there a bad thing about this piece of music? It's also nine minutes long. Like, how can you do this, Casey and Victor? Like, we want answers. You guys know something that we don't. You, you want. This is definitely, I think, the best track I ever reviewed on this channel. Congrats to Casey and to Victor Borba. Go follow Victor. He has a YouTube channel. That is all. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Holy shit. Bye.